Yeah, today I want to talk about the religious affiliations of the two presidential candidates. Uh, you got Hillary Clinton, who I believe she's a Methodist, and uh, Donald Trump, who says he's Presbyterian. But the interesting thing about it to me is that neither one of them have really talked much about their religious beliefs or talked about it much about it. And that kind of goes with, with the flow of most Americans. Um, you know, a long time ago, like when John Kennedy was running for presidency, he was, a, he was like the first Catholic that was going to be president. I got to be a big deal. And uh, people made a big, big deal and, uh, with Mitt Romney because he was Mormon. But I, with, with Trump and, um, and um, Hillary, they kind of seem not to have to deal with this issue. I guess people just accept, accept Methodists and Presbyterians and just say, oh, they believe in God. That's all I need to know. Um, I thought that was kind of funny when uh, Trump ran, I mean, Trump, uh, Schwarzenegger ran for governor in, in the state of California. I, at the time, I was going to a church, and uh, he said at the end of the whole campaigning, he said, it's in God's hands now. And I remember people at the church going, well, Schwarzenegger believes in God. we got to vote for him. Well, I don't think he thought much about it after that. But uh, it's kind of interesting to me. I mean, it's interesting to me where people are as far as their religious beliefs in this country. And I do think that it's starting to uh, it's starting to shift so much from individual church religion more to if you believe in God or not. I mean, you got a lot of people, very, very, very prominent people that just basically are out and out atheists. Bill Maher, I think Jesse Ventura, and there's some few others. They just don't believe basically in God at all. It, there was a time that if you did not believe in God or have a religious affiliation, you were pretty much not going to be electable at all. Nobody would elect, nobody would vote for you because you didn't have that belief system in place. Now it kind of seems like you don't really need it anymore and that people are willing to accept kind of whatever you know belief system that you have, even if it is an atheism, you know, if you believe in atheism. But anyway, I think it's kind of interesting. Neither one of them really get dressed that much. Neither one of them really talked about it much, but both of them want to be on the side with God. They both say that they're believers or whatever and then they have a, a certain affiliation, regardless of if they are very active in it or not, but they both do. I think Trump went to uh, Vincent Norman Peale's church, which was uh, more of a, rather than a um, traditional religious dogma church, they were more of a uh, positive thinking church, which fits in with the way his philosophy is. But um, it's interesting, very interesting to me. You know, that neither one of these candidates have really spoken much about their beliefs or their religious beliefs. Trump kind of tries to go there a little bit, but he doesn't really get it too, 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 uh, too far into that direction. But very interesting. But anyway, I thought that was interesting. I want to make a video about it. I uh, appreciate you watching. Thank you.